Does this work? Looks like it works. About time. I was only a few minutes late. Just a few. Wasn't that late. All of my stuff is like messed up. Why is this happening? Way. Spider butt. Spider butt. Good evening. Gonna paint us a spider butt. Spider butt. Spider butt. I switched out my headset for a speaker. Um, I think the mic that I'm using is not as good as the mic that I had started using for my work setup. And it makes me sad. And I want to get another one of them for in here. Because the one that I'm using for my work setup is amazing. <laughs> but I have two of these mics and I don't, I feel like I probably shouldn't get another one because I already have Two of them. Anyway, we might. I might just spend the money because I want it. How's everyone's week? How's everyone doing? I also need a new PC. This PC irritates the absolute heck out of me. There's still something wrong with it that I haven't been able to figure out. Every time I start it, I have to restart it. Like, pretty much every single time, otherwise something weird goes on with the... the, like, system settings or whatever. Forever Night! Hello! Come on. Can we unclog, please? There we go. Now it's unclogged. I started this mini while still at ReaperCon. I'm painting it up for uh, the Midnight Heroes folks. So hopefully I can get it painted up pretty good and send it back over to them so that they have it. to use when they go to places. Been running my resin printers. There's a bee outside of my window. Hello, little bee. You cannot come in here. This spider will eat you. I need to start running my resin printers too. Forever Night's the one that convinced me to buy one in the first place. Back at many Reaper cons ago, actually. Found some really cool models. <laughs> I have been using my free time to look at 3D prints of different bits and baubles. 2019, yes. Yep, I ordered it while I was there and it was waiting for me when I got home. Um, I've been looking at little bits and bobs that I can 3D print to use for basing kits. So, I just actually have to, like, 
set them up again and get them running. Which is the part that I hate the most. Hi, Korawara. I found a milk crate I had to get. <laughs> There's still so much paint. Oh, baby girl. Cora just came in. Sat under my feet. Well, technically not under my feet, because my feet are in my lap. Because I'm sitting crisscross applesauce. But she came and sat under my desk. <laughs> Milk crates are pleasing my eyes, I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, you like what you like. Am I right? Spider butt. Spider butt. I think she's coming along pretty well. <laughs> I have like so many things saved in Thingiverse. I need to, um, I want to do. So for the basing kits, I want to provide the materials and provide like a written out guide, like a little guidebook. So I need to figure out how to make a guidebook digitally with pleasing aesthetic. So I need to look at like UI for guidebooks and then figure out how to like print them and stuff. And then I'll probably, once I, once I get this going, I'll probably, um, do a stream where I like do the stream and put one together and then see if anybody's interested. Aspire painting. Good evening. Russian blue art. Hello. And I don't know if I want to like include minis as well, or if it's just going to be the, the, kit for the base but when I used to do the basing kits I would include a mini as well so I might do that again we'll see I don't know I haven't thought too 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 much about it I keep wanting to do like little things for the stream and then the amount of effort for doing them becomes completely overwhelming and then I'm just like no nah, I don't think I want to do this actually <laughs> so bug king 53 months you gave up for a bit what did you give up Excuse me. I gave up for a bit too. Bugging, it's fine. You are all good. We're talking about basing here though. Your sub? Oh, did you? That's all right. I've always told people here that they should never feel obligated that they need to sub. You should never feel an obligation to sub to this channel because I am probably the most inconsistent streamer that exists. And if you want to support me in that way, it is more than appreciated. But I, I, I feel guilty about it. <laughs> I feel guilty that people sub because I'm so inconsistent about streaming. <laughs> yes, I, I didn't stream for like Twitch error. 
Okay. Well, seems like that API from Twitch is gone. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> I feel I feel obligated to sub so that I can make you feel guilty about not coming to Adepticon. That's okay. You can make me feel guilty. Adepticon just so happens to be very, very close to the same time as my family get-together thing. And the only reason I was able to come the one year is because I quit my job and I was starting a new job. And it happened right in between those two things. Thank you, Russian Blue. I do miss you, though. Hey, this butt's taking forever to dry. Dry faster, butt. There goes my claim to fame. I'm sure there's another way to see how long you've been a follower. I just don't know how to do that. There's one person who's been a follower of me for like 10 years. And it's because they, they followed me like when I first started streaming forever ago when it was still Justin TV. Chaotic neutral at best. Mods can click. Mods can click the username and see the follow details. Oh, can you? Let's see. Following since October 18th, 2018. That's what it says. So that's when you started following me forever night. Bug King has been following me since December 2nd, 2018. I think I can go in and see my follower list, too. But yeah, Bug King, I got inspired at ReaperCon by a basing class that I took. I know you hate cork, and this is cork, but... I like the rest of the base a lot. This was a, uh... Uh, a Bob Rodolfi class. Anyway. What are some of your favorite paints? Have you tried the Turbo Dork Color Shifts? I have a whole bunch of the Turbo Dork Color Shift paints. Um, I think they go on really well with an airbrush and I don't use an airbrush. Um, I don't think they go on so well without an airbrush. <laughs> um, but I do like them regardless. I have like a ton of them. Uh, most of the paints that I use Russian blue are the, the Reaper ones, but I have, I have so much paint. Um, I don't have my, my lights not on in the back, but this side is all Reaper. And then there's three and a half uh, shelves up there that you can't see because it's too high that are my Pro Krill and I have the full Pro Krill line. And then on this side, I have a whole bunch of different kinds of paints. So I have my Citadel Technical paints, um, my uh, contra Citadel Contrast paints. I've got Ghost Tints. I've got the Green Stuff World color shifts. I've got my Turbo Dorks there. I've got the Metal Smiths as well. Um, I've got uh, metallics. This side is all like technical paints or metallics, um, except for the ones at the bottom. So then at the bottom here, you can see this row right there is Vallejo. Those are Chimera. Um, underneath the few bottom ones that you can't see because I have a bunch of shit blocking it down there, but those are all random other kinds of paints. So I have a ton of different kinds of paints. Um, I mostly use the Reaper ones, but I love the Pro Krill Metallics a lot. Um, oh, I also have the entire scale 75 and Fantasy and Games lines. Not up here, but I have those too. So uh, yeah, I got a lot of paint. It's kind of a lot. It's I, I think I have over, I think I have like over 700 paints, which is insane. 
but what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Paint is paint. Yeah, I do have a problem. It's, it's very true. <laughs> you can always buy more paint. <laughs> you don't have a color you like? Go buy it. Or you have colors you like? Go buy more of them. Oh god, this brush is awful. I can't do this. You use 14 paints total. Runic Raccoon and Raccoonosaur! Hello, my fellow trash pandas. You don't have a color you like? Mix it! Ah, oh, but that's that takes effort. I don't want to use effort. Time to lurk. Maya 3D modeling? Ooh. I actually just bought beginner modeling in Blender. Because if I'm going to be doing basing stuff, I want to be able to make my own stuff. I am actually pretty good at mixing colors. I'm just lazy. And I don't want to have to do the work of mixing the colors. How's the work project? I've been on the lookout. Um, my game is released. If you go to paleo.com, you can play it. It is in open beta. It has been out for about a month, a little, a little over a month now. <laughs> Not paleo. <laughs> <laughs> Aspire, I am the head of support. I run the support team. <laughs> if I want to cause lots of trouble that would create work for you, what should I do in the game? Just try downloading it and installing it and see if you even can. <laughs> Sparkles, don't tell them. Don't, don't, don't give anybody ideas. I run the place and do the coding. No, I don't do coding. I, I do some coding when I shouldn't. But it's not, it doesn't affect the game at all. I'm burning it all down. No! <sighs> Don't do it. It's really fun though. I like the game a lot when I have time to play it. <laughs> Which I don't have a ton of time to play it. Especially considering that James and I are playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm almost done that with my bot that will open a new ticket every eight minutes and 24 seconds. Wow. I'll just put you in the shadow realm. Open as many tickets as you want, bro.
What about the bot that creates new accounts and then sends them to harass other players? <laughs> Don't do that either. Don't do it! Iffy! Four years! Insane. I spent most of today assembling MDF terrain, got two-thirds done with my micro art studios. Then tomorrow I got a giant ship from Black Sweet Black Sight Studios. Nice! How you doing, Iffy? I can't believe it's been four years. That's right. The end of this month is my five-year streaming anniversary. I still have no idea what I'm gonna do for it or if I'm gonna do anything. I don't know what y'all want. Nobody's giving me suggestions. And if you say airbrush, that's not gonna happen. So don't even suggest it. Could start streaming that day. Just keeping painting and just keep painting and streaming. Yeah, I guess I could just treat it like a normal stream. Would definitely do that. Are you seeing the top of my head? I don't know if you're seeing the top of my head at all. We're taking notes on how the light hits your head so we can improve painting hair. <laughs> so you can improve painting dishwater blonde hair. Unusual. But I get it. Jeez Louise, I don't know what's going on with me today, but I am like having trouble painting lines. I just kicked it up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I put my feet down and she got mad. I'm sorry. Did I bug you, you big baby? She is bothered. Did you get bothered? You went over there to sit. I had to turn the light on. Hold on. <laughs> and now she's broken. Now she is broken. Ah, 
Beastie's Basement. Thank you for the raid. From the basement we raid. <laughs> Hello, everyone. What were you up to today, tonight? Paint minis, anything fun? Or any progress you want to show, feel free to post a picture, or, or not a picture, but a link to a picture. I know everyone's always like, post a picture of your progress, and it's like, bleh, I just ended. I don't have any photos. Cassandra from Lords of Hellas. Oh. Photos will come soon. Yeah, exactly. Do your nails match the paint you're using? <laughs> On purpose or an accident? Um, I paint a lot of teal. Teal is obviously the, uh, one of my favorite colors. So, um, yeah, I just, I just paint a lot of things that color. It's kind of, kind of on purpose, I guess. <laughs> yeah, my... You can't really see it, but my walls are also uh, teal. Behind the wall of paint, the walls are also teal. Uh, because I painted this room teal, because it's my hobby room. So, yeah. You in pink? Yes. <laughs> I own a lot of things of this color. Whenever I'm out, people always compliment it. Posting to into Instagram, uno momento, no problem. We anxiously await your photos. All right, one moment. Oh, this is her face, by the way. I realize you're looking at a spider's behind a lot, but this is what her face looks like. <laughs> or the front of her. I've highlighted up her face and done her eyes and like her mouth and stuff. 
but oh i see i see it was supposed to work on leonidas but broke off broke off the base to cassandra instead very nice yeah she's a really cool mini i'm excited to to get her all fully painted up the hair is is white but i need to put the shadows in and then do a few lines on her um I don't know, maybe some of y'all have never been here before, but this is the kind of stuff that I that I paint. This is this is what we do. These all these little guys. I like to paint cute things. I think that has been my preference in recent years. Has been painting cute things. Is it from a game or just for fun? Um, this one that I'm painting is from Midnight Heroes. They do have a game that they run. Um, actually, I think there's a few different modules that they have. Um, if you go to, uh, midnightheroes.com, uh, I'm sure I have a command for Midnight Heroes. Uh, actually, I need to change that because I don't think that you can actually use that code for 10% off anymore, but you can still go to the shop from that link, I believe. <laughs> Let me actually just change that right now because I don't think they do that anymore. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, commands. Edit. Okay. But yeah, anyway, they do have a website where they sell all their minis and stuff. Um, why didn't I submit the turtle? Um, I don't know. Probably because I used a bunch of regular metallics on them. And I knew that they wouldn't be happy with the regular metallics. I do really like the way he came out, though. It's fine. The one that I submitted I liked a lot, so. Yeah, none of the um none of the partnerships in those links are actually active anymore. Reaper stopped doing their partnership or sponsorship program. I don't know if it was partnership program. Um Midnight Hero stopped doing theirs too. So that's why you don't see the the icons on my stream anymore. Actually, I probably need to go and update my stream information too. That's in like the sub sub part because that's probably all out of date as well. But you can still go to the sites. And the links still work, so it's whatever. But yeah, I just paint everything for funsies. It's just for fun. When I first got into painting, it was because I had an in-person D&D group and I really wanted um, to have really cool stuff for the table. And then I realized I really liked painting. So then I just kept painting. I think I need to go downstairs and get my other brushes because this brush is too big. Hi, Agu. You are very welcome. I'm glad that your stickers arrived safely.
How was everybody's week this week? It's Friday, right? Early certain. I definitely need to go downstairs <laughs> and get the other brush. This brush is a size two and it's too, it's too big. Mm, no. Okay. I think I enjoy size ones the most. This is a size zero. Yeah, maybe I'll just use the size zero. Put them with the other stickers I have. Nice. I was still honestly kind of shocked that you didn't have any of my stickers. You've been here for such a long time. My week has been okay. Got stung by two bees yesterday. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I think the last time that I was stung by a bee was when I still worked at an elementary school. I was walking back to the room from the grass. And I think I had like grass 47 months. My parents weren't even married that long. <laughs> I was walking back through the grass and I had like, not bell bottom pants on, but like normal jeans and a bee crawled up and stung me in the knee. That was the last time I was stung by a bee and that was like 13 or 14 years ago. So it's been a while since I've been stung, but I do remember what it feels like. It is not fun. I'm sorry that you got stung. Jeez, is it really dry here today or something? My paint is like, my paintbrush is drying out like instantly. I need to get a humidifier for this room. I've never been stung by a bee. Wasps only? I don't know if I've ever actually been stung by a wasp. I'm not going to go too detailed on the underside of this butt because you are never going to see it. Look at this. Look at this cute baby. She is so sweet. Look at her. My goodness. What a baby. I had a hornet sting me on my right earlobe. Ugh. 
I destroyed his entire con colony. As you should. You sting me on the earlobe? I kill all of your family. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Need some butt texture. <laughs> yes. That's what we're doing. We're painting the spider butt. Spider butt. Spider butt. Proctor teaches a class on butt texture. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Shiny Mew, hello. It's been a while, yes. I've been doing all right. How have you been? Oh, is it time for the dogs to eat? It is very close to feeding time for these puppies, so I might have to go downstairs and give them their dinner. Cora hears James down there giving them treats or something. Couldn't hang out longer in the alls. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. I was just yelling at James because he kept walking into the lava, so it's all good. <laughs> he kept walking into the lava, and I was just like, dude, you're the one that has to live in this group. Cora has bitten his fingers. I can hear him. <laughs> oh, I guess I can turn the dog cam off, huh? There's no dog there anymore. It's it's interesting. Oh, hold on. Wait, why did that not work? You know what? I know why it doesn't work. Because Streamlabs, every single time, decides that... Oh, come on. Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Streamlabs Labs turns off CloudBot for some reason, like every single time. Let me turn it back on. Yeah. Why does CloudBot get turned off every time? Who knows? Try doing a, no, why did you turn off again? Okay. Now it should work. There it is. Stupid. I hate I hate cloud block. Stop turning off by yourself. Cool looking mini, not normally one for spiders, but it's not a full on spider. Yeah, she's a drider. She is a drider. Don't think she 
Back when I could walk, I walked over in an underground beehive, got bitten a lot, but not stung. Oh, interesting. Huh. Anyway, yes. Rigby is James. There you go. Now the shout outs are working. I'm going to put some yellow in this teal. Actually, there's already some yellow on my palette. BRB going to pull prints off the printer and start printing my goblin mice. Finished an orc recently, if you don't mind me sharing. Shiny Moo, you're always... Bleh. You are always free to post links to your stuff. Putting yellow in the teal just makes it pop pop a wee bit more. Changes the color slightly. Lightens it a little bit as well. That is a busty orc. <laughs> that is one busty orc, shiny Mew. She busty. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit more of the yellow. She's safe though. Okay. Trying to get some solid lines on here. It's it's a little bit harder than it looks. Hi, Keen. I'm gonna put more yellow on the palette actually because I think the yellow that's on there is very, very watered down. <laughs> Going to a craft market tomorrow. Can't walk it, but my mother is nice. That sounds like it'll be fun. Man, I think this paint's too watered down. I think I need to use this lighter color too. I'll sit in the car while she walks it. Holly and Yeji are doing a special Lego stream. Lego!
Did we decide that that was the actual day we were doing it? Okay. <laughs> I will make sure to put it out there so people know. There we go, that's a little bit better. Confirmed 23rd. Beep, beep. I might have to go in with the really dark color again and just darken it up in between some of these spots that got really light. That always seems to happen. Oh, that means it's time for the dog's food. Legos! Yeah, um, Yeji's birthday is always during ReaperCon, and so No Time for Bull got her a Lego, um, like, flower set. Hey, girl. I'm painting some bandits. Nice. Um, yeah, he got her a... I feel like I need a lighter color. I need a lighter... I need white. We're just gonna add some white. Yes, my phone is ringing because it's puppo food time. So I need to go feed them here in a, in a moment. Um... Otherwise, Oppa might turn rabid. Uh, but yes, Legos. Yeji's birthday. No Time for Bull got her a Lego set. And I have a Lego set that needs to be built. And he has a Lego set that needs to be built. So we decided we're going to build them together. Yes. Yes, James. Please feed the dogs, if you don't mind. So that I don't have to. That would be lovely. If you're here in the stream. Yes, and Pilsies and Visbiome. Appa is taking prednisone, cyclosporin, visbiome, omeprazole, and fiber. Twice a day. <laughs> he was also taking denimirin and a slurry, which I cannot remember the name of, but we just called it the slurry. And the slurry he was getting three times a day, and the denimir he was getting once a day. Thankfully, he doesn't need to take those ones anymore. Pike was on cyclosporin for a long time. Very expensive. Yeah, um, we get it from Costco. So I think it's a little bit cheaper because we can get it from Costco. Where are you hungry? Here she goes. Um, the prednisone, I think, is actually more expensive than the cyclosporin is. And it might just be because we have to get the prednisone from the actual vet. But yeah. It's... I want to say... It's $80 a month for the cyclosporin. And the prednisone was like 140 or something. And then the visbiome is also like another 60 for the month. So yeah, Appa's meds are, uh, 
Uh, they're quite high. <laughs> no, he's not diabetic. Um, he has something called ITP, which the vet described as his body is attacking itself and his uh, is attacking his own red blood platelets. So he's on steroids, which is the prednisone, to suppress his immune system so that his body doesn't attack his red blood platelets. Um, because if his body continues to attack his red blood platelets, he can just bleed to death because he can't, he won't have enough platelets to stop the bleeding. So that's why he's on the steroids. I forget what the cyclosporin is supposed to do. I think it's just another amino immunosuppressant. Um, yeah. But I think he might have to be on the cyclosporin like for the rest of his life. But we are slowly lowering the dose of the prednisone over time. We actually went to the vet yesterday to get another set of blood work done. Which, that is also very expensive. <laughs> it's like 200... It's like $250 every time we have to go and get his blood work taken. And we have to do that uh, once a month, essentially, it's, is what it's coming out to be. About once a month. So... All the stuff that this dog is going through is, uh, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. But he is my baby boy, and I will spend as much money as I have to make sure that he is healthy and happy and, uh, isn't struggling. He is struggling because the steroids have made him lose seven pounds of muscle, so he has a hard time walking. But he is still the fattest dog that you will ever see because the steroids also have made him very hungry. <laughs> so he is constantly begging for food, which I mean, he's a corgi and they do that anyway. But it's gotten even worse since, uh, <laughs> since he's been on the steroids because he's just hungry constantly and he's thirsty constantly too. So it's actually really funny. That's why I call him Skinny Fatty McFat, yes. <laughs> that is a very good set of descriptors for him. This is true. Skinny Fatty McFat is perfect. The perfect way to describe him. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. Alright, I gotta be careful. Oh, that might be too dark. I might need to go a little bit lighter. If you see pictures of him, sometimes on James's stream you can see him. You can see how hollowed out his fit little face is. I wonder if I can find a picture of it. He looks so skinny now, it's insane how much he's changed. Yeah, his personality is pretty different too. Oh, I don't have Discord. Hold on, I wonder if I can log into Discord. I am not logged into Discord on this computer anymore. Let me see if I can do that really quick. James and I send each other pictures a lot, so it's kind of a lot to get through. But I'll find a picture of him that James sent me of his face. His skinny, skinny baby face. Oh, 
Oh, maybe I Oh, yeah, wait. It should be here. Oh, my God. That looks like a really old photo. Ow. Hold on. Oh, maybe I don't have one. I thought he sent it to me. I thought he sent it to me on here. No. Well, this one maybe you can tell. This isn't the best photo ever. Of course this is broken. This isn't the best photo, but you can see right here and right here, his face is like really sunken in. This right here is like the bone. And then the top and the bottom of his face is like really, really sunken in. It's like all the muscle that was in his face is just gone. He's lost seven pounds. Seven freaking pounds. He only weighed at maximum like 34 pounds. You know how much seven pounds is for a dog that only weighs 34 pounds? It's a lot. <laughs> he once told me coffee was on and then said, you weren't hauling. I said, hey, dude, I could come over for coffee. I don't think you live that far away, do you? I mean, you're in another country, but like, Canada's only like two hours away. Technically. So you definitely could. You could. I have faith. Cora, there's no way that you're done eating already. You chunky monkey! She's like, don't call me that. Pretty close, yeah, see? Chunky Monkey and Skinny Fat McFat. Great names. <laughs> she is a little Chunky Monkey, though. I, all are, uh, I also call her Miss Moo. I don't remember why I started calling her that. But that's another one of her nickname nicknames, is Miss Moo. Which is kind of backwards, actually, because she snorts like a little piglet. She makes piggy, piggy oink oink sounds when she's cuddling in the morning. She's just like... <laughs> it's like, did you forget you're a dog? I think she forgot. Spider butt, spider butt. Um, gotta love painting the spider butt.
And now she's just in here licking. No licking! Cora. No licking. It's the sound of death. The licking sound. Anybody else have animals that just sit there and lick themselves and you're like... It's driving me crazy. It's driving me crazy. The sound of the licking. She's just licking her chops. But it drives me crazy. Yes, she gets it from Cooper. <laughs> because of Appa's, all of Appa's stuff, he's become like a little bit incontinent. So he's not allowed upstairs anymore because he thinks that the upstairs is a toilet. Uh, he also can't really get up and down the stairs by himself because of the muscle loss stuff. So he just hangs out downstairs mostly. And we got the doggies a doggy door. Um, Cora doesn't use it because she is terrified of things, of everything. But Abba uses it. Um, and he goes out in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. But before he goes out, he drinks like half of a bowl of water and the bowl of water um we moved all of our bed and stuff downstairs because again he can't get up and down the stairs by himself and so if he doesn't have uh access easily to a bathroom he pees anyway uh everything is now downstairs including james's stream setup and our bed so the bowl is like down there and he drinks the entire like half of the bowl and it's right next to our bed so every night i wake up to glub 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 um and then i because we put a bell on him so that we could hear him when he goes outside and stuff um i hear him go outside and then immediately pee for 10 straight minutes <laughs> it's like come on man <laughs> I'm sharing all this dog's personal, personal life with y'all. Just got a kitten. She sleeps a lot. Aww. Pike has bad allergies, so she's always scratching or licking. My roommate's dogs do that. I don't let them down in my place, so I don't have to deal with dogs often. She had a really bad attack and lost a big patch of hair on one side of her belly. Oh my gosh. That was a print fail. Oh no. Print fails. Boo. We all hate that. I know one, th I have one large task that I want to get done this weekend, and that's digging up some of the rose bushes in the backyard and replacing them with hydrangeas. After that, I might set up my 3D printers and see if I can get them running. Did I send you the pics of what showed up on my back patio there? The yes, all of those kittens. Yeah, you showed them at ReaperCon, when we were still at ReaperCon. So many kittens. Alright, I think... I think I'm gonna stop with the spider. But there... I think that's as good as we're going to get with the that. They are still there now and aren't scared to come up and get pets. Oh, so they're not feral. That's good. That's great, actually. Get my liner. Let's use blue. Blue liner. Anybody else have any fun plans this weekend? I'm gonna do some gardening. Mom still hisses at me, but the kittens just want attention. That's funny. Resting tomorrow, I work on 
On Sunday? I thought you were, re like, retired, Kane. I thought you were, were donezo with work. Start Halloween. <laughs> it's still September. I get it, though. If you don't start now, you'll never get it done. This weekend, work, D&D, maybe try to actually paint. Do it! I remember. Remember, they're all black cats. Yeah. You gotta protect those babies. Working again because my buddy needed a person he could trust to go check his roofing crews. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice of you to do that. Worst decision I've made in recent history. <laughs> Oh, I feel that. If I could retire right now, you bet your butt that I would. Did my air conditioner just turn on? One moment. I guess it did. Weird. I guess it was warm-ish today. But I don't think the AC needs to turn on. Turn off, you. Weird. I make a lot of extra money for fun stuff. So yeah, exactly. I definitely couldn't li make a living off of, like, streaming. But... If I get all my retirement stuff set up, you better believe that I'm going to be retiring as soon as I possibly can. We will definitely have to sell this house and go live somewhere cheaper than this. It was 30C earlier today. I wasn't outside very much. I'm wearing sweats. I'm wearing a t-shirt, but I am wearing sweats. It didn't feel that warm here. Okay. Our AC has been turning off first time in like three months. <laughs> it's boring. Gotta have cheap hobbies as well, depending on how well off you are when you decide to retire. Well, to be fair, I probably have enough paint and minis to last me the rest of my life as it is right now because you can't see my shelving unit over here on this side, but I have an entire set of shelves over here filled with minis and the paints behind me, I mean, I've, I've shown this off a bunch of times, but this is all paint up to almost the ceiling and this is paint all up to the ceiling and then not only that but i have a shelving unit over here on this side as well that's just a bunch of teal bins that's filled with minis and basing materials and parchment paper for my wet palettes and yeah i literally have a store of paint in my room because that is me, what I do. Um, yeah, so I, I could survive probably for the remainder of my lifetime just off of all of the stuff that I have right now. <laughs> I probably never need to buy ever, ever, ever again. Um, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's good. There's always new stuff, I know. It's true. <laughs> Better colors. Yeah. I actually need to... Have you seen the Corgi cookie cutters? Look at that. 
Wormy. Wormy. Um, I don't think I have Russian blue. Corgi cookie cutters. I, it's been like a very long time since I've made cookies. But. Corgi cookie cutters do sound very cute. When was the last time you said, wow, look how pigment this pigmented this paint is asking for a friend? Oh, probably not that long ago, to be honest. I think I actually said it about this paint. This one that's right in here in front of me. During ReaperCon, Graz was giving away a whole bunch of paints. And I grabbed a few. <laughs> so yeah, not a terribly long amount of time ago. Don't judge me, sir. This is a judgment-free zone, okay? Me too, side paint jockey. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Don't talk about that. Oh, that's that's kind of dark. I'm gonna have to add some white to that. Go lighter. I got into crystals and it makes the money I spend on paints and minis look like nothing. Yes, crystals are so expensive. I have a bunch. Well, not a bunch, but I have some downstairs. And some I had gotten in like Alaska and those ones were pretty cheap. But if you want the like really high quality stuff and like the bigger stuff, it's freaking expensive, man. I'm a sucker for TSR minis. What's, what is TSR? I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know what, what that actually is. Okay, that's too watered down. Whoops. I started by getting some for paint inspiration and it spiraled. <laughs> Have you talked to Emerson? TSR is OG and DD. Oh, okay. Have you talked to Emerson about his like, like crystal and uh, rare gem collection? Steep tea? He's got a lot. You should talk to him about it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a bunch. Um... He knows way more about that stuff than I do. I just think they're pretty. <laughs> I just think they're pretty, but like, I remember one time we were playing D&D &D and afterwards he like brought his phone over and was like showing us all of his, his like, shelves of them. I think he has some pretty expensive and cool stuff from different places across the country and across the world. So yeah, I would talk to him about it. We actually got to sit down at ReaperCon. Um, he came to ReaperCon. I didn't know he was coming until like the day before. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we got to have lunch together. It was great. That was the first time I met him in person. We played D&D &D together for, like, what, two years? <laughs> and he lives in the same state, just on the other side of the state. But, yeah, that was the first time I met him in person. That was cool.
And Brett made it to Goobertown. Yeah, we, I like saw him from afar a few times, um, but I didn't actually get to talk to him. I didn't actually get to have like an in-person combo. Which was unfortunate. There were a bunch of people that I missed. I was supposed to go and find um, the lady from Turbo Dork, whose name starts with an M and now I can't remember it. Um, but I went by her booth a few times and she wasn't there. Someone else was there, but she wasn't there. So I think I was just not going around the same times that she was manning the booth. <laughs> Womaning the booth. It was fun to meet him, and then he did a podcast when he got home about Reaper Crime. Oh, did he? That's pretty cool. I'm not big on listening to podcasts and things. I just don't have time. But that's pretty neat. He said how much he loved it and how good it was. I'll at least get to see Jacob and Mad Love at my local con. Oh, really? Jacob was that Reaper con, but Mad Love wasn't. I haven't seen her in a long time either. She hasn't streamed in a while, right? Cora Wara. Stop licking! You drive me crazy! <laughs> He's like, what? What's the problem? Why do you keep yelling at me? Not sure, I kinda twitched away from Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I didn't stream for like a good six months myself, so sometimes you just have to take a break when life is getting too overwhelming. Whether you're a streamer, a person that is a stream enjoyer, or whatever. But I'm glad that I'm back. TikTok has consumed me. See, that's why I still haven't, like, joined TikTok. Because I'm very afraid that it will do the same thing to me. Because I know myself. I know myself very well. And if I create a TikTok, I will honestly probably watch more TikToks than creating my own. Because I just, I'm way too lazy. To do that stuff. Um, to be honest. I want to enjoy content rather than make it in that kind of platform. But I'm already like scrolling through like Facebook reels and Instagram, you know? I don't think joining TikTok is a good idea. Because I will get lost in it. as so many others do. YouTube shorts get you? No, YouTube shorts haven't gotten me yet. YouTube shorts haven't got me yet. Just Facebook Reels and Instagram sometimes. But those two are like connected. Like Instagram and Facebook are this basically the same now. I think I look at the Facebook ones more than the Instagram ones though, to be honest. I don't know why either. It just kind of works worked out that way. 
But honestly, if I was to create a TikTok, I think I would have to do it on my old phone because I don't want to connect. I don't want to connect my phone to TikTok. I realize that, you know, if people want my information, they can find it easily outside of it. But TikTok is just scary. <laughs> What it pulls is is scary. <laughs> Missing Reapercon realize made me realize how much I miss my Twitch rentos. Aw, iffy. We miss you. I was very sad that I didn't see you. I actually sat at the table and painted for like a fairly decent amount of the time. My entire Holly Monster entry was basically painted at the table this time. It was kind of crazy. I need all the ticks and the talks. <laughs> Do you need them though? Do you? Facebook was losing users, so they bought Instagram. It was kind of the competition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there was table candy. It was it was excessive. The table was excessive. I'm just gonna to be totally honest. I ended up giving Emerson and George um two of the classes that I had booked for James and I, because James couldn't come. So I had more time to just like actually sit at the table and paint, which was nice. It'll be better at 2024. Honestly, I probably subconsciously moved away from Twitch knowing I would be missing the con. Oh yeah, maybe. You didn't want to make yourself extra sad. I could see that. Well, we definitely missed you, but we hope that we can see you next year. I still think ReaperCon is going to be like the convention that I will try to make it to every year on top of all the other ones. Because like I, I like Adepticon. I liked Adepticon, but it was not as like personal feeling. That makes sense. Like, there's definitely way more space to network. But that's not why I go, really. So, like, that part doesn't matter to me so much. The networking part, like, maybe if I was trying to do this as a, an actual job, it would make more sense to go to bigger conventions where networking is, like, easier and more possible. But... I go because I like the people. And Adepticon, while there was other individuals there, like Bug King that I never get to see, there was far less of that than at ReaperCon. We need to take over two tables. <laughs> Wasn't the banana for scale fun? Yes, it was. There were quite a few I've missed that weren't there. Yeah, there was a bunch of people there that weren't there this year. Chicago is expensive. Yeah, that, that too. That too. Adepticon also is like, it's in March usually, right? And my family does our, our family meetup over Easter weekend. 
which is like very close to the same time. <laughs> so it's just like trying to take that much time off of work consecutively is hard. month of March, I'll be in mourning as I climb over the hill. <sighs> I don't think Ify's turning 50. <laughs> Are you going to be 30? I feel like you're not even going to be 40. What is, what is over the hill? I thought over the hill was 50. 30, I wish. Oh, you are going to be 40? Oh, okay. I thought you were... I thought you were younger than that. That is a compliment. Not meant as a slight. Some people will take it that way. When I turn 40, I realize I'm an actual adult now. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. Like, when I look around my house and see how dirty it is, I'm like, God, I, I know I'm an adult, but it doesn't feel like it. Because <laughs> everything in my house is so dirty all the time. I'll never feel like an adult. Yeah, I don't know if I will either. Don't want to talk about it. Forty had two strokes at thirty-eight, one at thirty-nine. That sounds like bad genes, Agu. Did your parents have strokes and stuff, or did your parents have health health issues too, or did you just draw the short straw? Sometimes people just draw the short straw. Your grandparents? Ah, uh, yeah. That sucks. Does anybody here go to Paint Club? I wish. Holly Driver is cute. What? Oh, Dryder. Dryder. Holly Dryder. <laughs> I was like, Holly Driver? What do you mean? Yes. I, I wasn't trying to give her the colors, but I found this one, and I was like, this is what I want to paint her like, and it just so happens to be the same colors. And I'm okay with it. So this is what we're doing. <laughs> I sit in front of my PC in a wheelchair because it's far more comfy than my PC chair. Oh, nice. Well, that's good. I'm glad you found something more comfortable. I feel like the only time the PC chairs are comfortable is if they're like, Freaking $800 chairs. 
Otherwise, it's like not comfy. She is spiny, though. She's got a lot of pointy bits. Not as much anymore since Anne left. Your current PC chair has a lifetime warranty? Is it a, a Herman Miller? I had a Herman Miller Aeron chair when I was at Riot. That's the chairs that they use. And let me tell you, that thing was amazing. But they're expensive. And when I left, obviously, I didn't... I wasn't allowed to take my chair with me. So. Came from a local seller. Oh, nice. I'm thinking of starting to go up there. It's on Sundays. You should go there. That means you'll actually freaking paint something. We all got to get on No Time for Bull's Case about not painting. Because he said he wanted to submit, and then he didn't. Do it! I expect something to be ready. Multiple somethings, yes. See? If he's on my side... I'll do a submission and if, if, if he, oh my god, I said if three times, if, if he makes it to Reapercon. Tell him you can't D&D &D until you see progress photo. <laughs> we just killed a bunch of demons in our campaign. I guess technically we banished... Uh, one of them, or two of them? Oh, I'm making it. There you go. Iffy confirmed ReaperCon 2024. Forever Night, yes. You and No Time for Bull should go to Paint Club together and sit and keep each other accountable for painting stuff. You're both in the area. You should do it. Do it. <laughs> Dang it. I've expanded my role-playing one D&D game every other week. Vampire twice a month, heart every other week. I have printers that need to finish being built. <laughs> we'll take some of the stuff that you're building and bring it with you and paint it. Do it. No excuses. Excuses not allowed. <laughs> How are you going to go to ReaperCon and not enter something? I'm in the middle of assembling three 3D printers from scratch.
super easy. It's super easy to end like four times now. I don't have anything to enter. I hadn't painted since Ed's funeral. You gotta get painting. Ed would want people painting. You should paint up the Ed Memorial Mini. I did paint something while I was there for John. That's right, you did. How did that go, by the way? I didn't see the outcome of that. It was just okay. If somebody would have handed me one of those, I would have painted one for John, too. I didn't know who was organizing that, and I didn't want to, like, insert myself into someone else's thing. <laughs> Guess you were local, you have an excuse. It was a simple mini and just did a tabletop on it. I mean, that's fine. I'm sure John appreciates it either way. Kristen, good evening. Just got home from D&D. &D. How was your session? Sounds like people are lighting off fireworks again. The person who painted the shimmer scale was the one who was. Oh, is it Kara? I think that was Kara. I'm ahead to bed. No worries, Iffy. Thank you for hanging out. You have a great night. I hope you're able to paint some tomorrow. The one next to Kara. Oh, I'm not sure. We fought some elementals, then later a six-headed hydra of regrowing heads. How do you take down a hydra like that again? Do you have to shoot the body? Kara has models on my manufactory. Oh, nice. I said Kara, but I'm sure it's Kara. I could be wrong, though. Somebody feel free to correct me if I'm butchering her name. I just saw car stuff on the mine mini factory the other day. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Did she make these? Like, did she 3D model these? I like them. Oh, I'm sleepy. Chew. Whoa. Sleepy weepy. Might be time to end soon. We didn't get a terribly large amount done, but I got some of the hair. And the butt. <laughs> Carrie Michael Cosby. Oh, Carrie. I don't even know if you can really see all the little detail that I put into the hair. It's so... So bright.
Okay, good night. Good night, Iffy. Thank you again for hanging out. Have a good and restful sleep. There's always things that I want to do once it gets to too late. And then I'm like, no, but it's too late. Like every time I want to do yard work. Every time I have the urge to do yard work, it's like at night. <laughs> and it's like, I can't do yard work at night. <laughs> it's too dark. Why do I always get the urge to do stuff like that? At night. All right, I think we made some good progress on our little drider gal. I need to figure out what color I want to do all of her little spinies, and then I need to highlight up all of the rest of the purple. It's going to be a while. It's going to take a while. That's as far down as we did the highlights. I didn't do them all the way because she's like this. So really, all you're going to see is the sides anyway. You're not going to see underneath. But yeah, she's got all these spines all over and here and on her face and her horns. The horns I might just do regular horn color, but all these little spiny bits I wanted to probably do a different color. And then I think I'm going to do her little top. I think I'm going to make her top white as well to bring some more of the white down a little bit further on the mini so that it's not all just super, super bright at the very top of her hair. But for now, I think we're going to stop. So, where is the thing for this brush? Here it is. For those of you that spent the last couple hours of your Friday night with me, thank you. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Let's find someone to do a raid to. Who is a streaming? Let's reload and see. We've got. Oh, we've got Lita. Raid Lita. Uh, let's raid someone else. Let's raid.
Let's raid Dr. Rhino. Is he still streaming? He's been streaming for four hours. Enjoyed it. You kept me company while I get my files ready to print. Yeah! We're gonna raid into Dr. Rhino. Let's do that. I haven't raided Dr. Rhino in a long time. I haven't raided a lot of people in a long time, to be fair, because I haven't streamed a lot. But we're gonna raid into Dr. Rhino. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me tonight while I painted up my Drider Girl's booty and her hair. <laughs> oh, I appreciate all of you. I miss you all. I hope the year goes by really fast so that we can meet again at ReaperCon for those who attend. And for those who don't attend, you should come. Because then we can hang out in person. And we can sit at a table and paint together. And that would be great. <laughs> anyway. I hope y'all having a wonderful week, and I hope your weekend is even better. I will be back on Sunday, more than likely. So until then, I hope you're all staying happy and healthy, and we will see you then. Okay, bye!